hello everyone so in our previous video we discussed that how you can interact with a web element which is present inside the iframe and for that we need to follow these steps first we need to switch to the frame then interact with the web element and then switch back to the default content but Catlon Studio provide a configuration by which you can skip all these steps and for you the Catlon Studio will take care of executing all this step that means while creating the test object itself you can specify what is the parent iframe for this test object and once the Catlon Studio encounter a test object with a parent iframe it will automatically switch to the parent frame interact with the web element and switch back to the default content so Catlon Studio will take care of all these three steps now you can provide that configuration while creating the test object so assuming this is your web page and as you can see here this try it button is present inside an iframe so it is present inside a iframe and the id of iframe is this so first of all we need to create a test object for the iframe which we have already done so this is the test object now i'm going to create one more test object for this try it button so let me call it try it button with frame now, as you can see here in the detail screen you have a configuration that says that use below object as a parent iframe for this object so I'm going to check this setting and here I will specify my test object which is which is a iframe so try it button frame okay so this is our parent and now I'm going to add the locator for this try it button so I think we have the locator yeah this is the locator and click on add x path this so when Catalan studio encounter a test object with this configuration it will automatically switch to the frame interact with this test object then switch back to the default content so let me quickly write a script so test case try it button with frame so first of all we need to navigate to this location so open browser this is the url maximize browser window wait for page to load so global variable dot timeout after that wait for element visible which is our home button which is this one and after that i will just click on the try it button now you as you can see here i am not switching to the frame i am just directly performing the action over the try it button and after a delay of two seconds and then close the browser so open browser maximize the browser window wait for page to load wait for home button then directly click on try it button which is present inside the frame generate a delay of two seconds and then close the browser okay so i'm going to switch to the script mode and i'll put a breakpoint over here and debug the script So it has hit the debug point. I'm going to do a step over which will wait for home button, then performing the click action. So as you can see here, it has performed the click action, 
which in result this iframe. Then delay for two seconds and after that close the browser. So let me open the console and you can see here. So as soon as it encountered our test object with a parent iframe, automatically it switched to the parent iframe, then interacted with the test object and switched back to the default content. That means all these three steps is taken care by the Catalon Studio itself. And this is happening because we have configured this configuration. So this is very easy to use when you have multiple iframes with test object. So in this case, you can just specify what is a parent iframe and rest will be taken care by the Catalon Studio. So this is another approach of handling a web element which is present inside the iframe. That's all for this video and thanks for watching.